Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amirpet Technologies. In this video, I am going to explain about uh, static method and instance method. We also call it as non-static method. See, how can we define a simple static method and how to invoke the static method? and how to define the instance method and how can we invoke the instance method. The simple points I am going to explain. First of all, how can you define the static method? I am taking the class, any class name you can give, better, right, every class we define it as a public, we will discuss all these things, why the rule introduced and all, these are encapsulation rules. In real time, we define every class as a public class, so from the day one, better you practice, right, as a public class, everything. I am taking one class, for example, class name is a pro I am taking. We know that program execution starts with a main method. I am not writing completely a main method, public, static, wide, main, I am not writing completely. Right? So this is the main method. Now, how to define the static method? A method, first of all, a method is a block of instructions. Method is a block of instructions. This is the method which contains the logic, any logic you define. But every method has identity. I am creating a simple method, suppose clear. And this is the parenthesis. And here I am not passing any parameters, no input, right? The method is not taking any input. Just clear, inside I am printing a simple message, right? Simply I am writing just print, print with a message is a clear all. So what you need to do, if you are the Java student, please give system.out.println. If you are the .NET student, use console.writeline, a simple thing. I'm just using the word print, so clear all, right message. And very important thing is what? Every method should have written type. If you are not returning anything, just void is the return type, void. And one more thing, static methods we need to define with a keyword called static, just like a static variable. Static methods also we define with the static keyword. This is the method. Let me open and close here. And this is the class close here. Like this. I am defining the method with the static keyword. If you define any method is called static method. How can we access? One important thing. Execution automatically starts from the main method and we are accessing the static method using the class name. What is the class name? Class name is a pro. Pro dot. What is the method name? Method name is clear. This is the way we are calling. I mean defining the static method and calling the static method. How many times you can call? That is depends on your requirement. Any number of times you can call. Any number of times you can call. So here simply I am calling multiple times. Once again if you call again it will execute. Once again if you call again it will execute. That is. Okay. And one important question to everyone. Because whenever you are practicing without writing the class name, whenever you call this clear method, of course it will execute. But that is not recommended. Reason is what? We never place the static methods inside the same class always. Always we are accessing the static methods from other classes. If it is belongs to some other class, it belongs to suppose a first class, then you need to call first dot clear. So one simple thing you need to remember, if it is a static method, access using the class name, uh, within the class or outside the class, no matter wherever it is, concept make it simple so that easily you can remember the things. Next one, I am going to explain how to define the instance method, it's very simple, the same class I am taking, just you can practice parallelly both, class is a pro, in this one, the same one, I am defining the main execution starts with the main and followed by 
what is instance method a method without the static keyword is called instance method just remove this static simply here void a same method i am using clear inside a message you can print any message you can print any message suppose clear all i am taking clear all the same thing but how can we access can we access using the class name impossible if you access directly pro dot clear you will get error to access the instance methods object is required how to define the object briefly i'll explain later how to create object but simply a statement i'm giving class name class name is a pro followed by object name you can give equals to new class name this actually called constructor but as of now is not required for practice right after practicing we learn briefly about this statement you don't worry about this but simply i'm explaining how to create the object for a class yes we are creating object for a class like this class name space object name here you can give any name x y z a b c p q r it's your wish i have just given o b z equals to new a class name actually it is a constructor what is constructor and when we call all these things in this video tutorial only we are going to cover then once object is ready we are calling this o b j dot clear we call like this okay once object is ready how many times we can call same story any number of times you can call obj dot clear again it will call obj dot clear again it will call right so this is simply how to define static methods and how to define instance method how to invoke the static methods and how to invoke the instance methods simple a static method means defining a method with the static keyword wherever it is whether it is inside the class or outside or inside other class we just access using the class name and what is instance method a method without static keyword and how to access means through object reference we need to create object for the class where it is suppose if it is belongs to a first class we need to create object of first class suppose if it is belongs to employee class we need to create object for employee class and then we invoke this method hope you guys understand right uh, uh, more examples on method static and instance methods we are going to cover in the coming videos please subscribe thank you all